Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there is a link in the description of this video. This week's problem of the week was about graphs. Um, and a graph is just um, a collection of vertices and edges, where vertices are just nodes in space, kind of, and uh, edges connect nodes or vertices. And the actual problem was to show there is always an even number of odd vertices. And what odd vertices means is the number of edges that connect to the vertice. So in this case, there's three, so this is an odd vertice. In this case, there's two, so this is an even vertice. Uh, and the great thing about this problem is you don't need to know anything about graph theory to do it. In fact, probably um, someone in middle school could do it, given enough time. Uh, so let's start with um, a little bit of math jargon, which will make this go a lot smoother, which is parity, which is just the evenness or oddness of a number. And so if you've ever heard someone say, um, this will conserve parity, um, all that's saying is your action on a number will conserve if it is odd number or if it's an even number. And okay, so graphs are made up of only edges and vertices. So to change a graph, the only thing you can do is add vertices or add edges. Um, <clears throat> so to start, let's just count the number of odd vertices and number of even vertices to make sure that this holds true for this base case. Uh, so there's four odd vertices and there are two even vertices. So there's an even number, which is good. The next thing we can do is add a vertice. Uh, so if we add a vertice, this will be zero because there's no edges connecting to it. Zero is even. So if we count them up again, we'll still have four odd vertices, and we'll just have an extra even vertice. So when we add a vertex, it conserves the parity of the number of odd vertices. Now, the next thing we can do, or the only other thing we can do, is to add edges to this graph. And there are three possible ways to do that. We can connect an odd vertice to an odd one. We can go even to even. Or we can go odd to even, which is the same as even to odd, since there's no direction in a graph. Uh, so let's start with odd to odd. In this example, if we add an edge from this odd vertex to this odd vertex, this one becomes 4. This one becomes 2, because there's two edges connected to it. And if we count them, we have two odd vertices and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 even vertices. And if you notice, when you add an edge, between two nodes, you change the parity of the two vertices that you connect between them. And since both of them are odd, you take two odd vertices away. And if you subtract a number by two, that conserves parity. And so odd to odd is good. Let's look at even to even. So if we add an edge there, this will become 5. This one, now that it has an edge, will become 1. We count them again. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 odd vertices. We have 1, 2, 3 even vertices. And the same thing is true of what I said here. Since you added an edge, you change the parity of these two. So you get two more odd vertices. And if you add two, you conserve, conserve parity. And so 
even to even is good. And the last one is odd to even. So if we add a ver uh, an edge there, this one, since now there's two edges connecting to it, will become a two. This one will become a three. And if we count them up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, even. And since this, we connected an odd to an even, we flip their parity, so this one will become even, this one will become odd. You don't change the number of even or odd vertices, so parity is conserved, so odd to even is good. And we've checked every possible thing you can do to a graph, and therefore, you can form an inductive proof where you start off with one vertex, and you can add vertexes, which will conserve the number of odd um, vertices, which starts out with zero. And then once you have more than one vertex, you can add edges to it, and every way you add edges to it, will always conserve the parity of the number of odd vertices. And therefore, there is no possible way to get an odd number of odd vertices. And so you've shown um, that you've shown that the number of odd vertices in a graph will always be even, which is probably something you've never considered before. Um, but it's true. And that is this week's problem of the week. For more videos like this, you can click here. To subscribe to our channel, you can click here. To visit our website, centerofmath.org, you can click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of your screen. And you can click that for all the same links. Thank you.